Hello, everybody. Welcome again to Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting people, topics, and businesses that I know you'll find inspiring, engaging, and interesting. And I'm your host, Ricky Smith. So today we're going to talk to a man who started a nonprofit, which is actually making global impact. If it's something that you've always wanted to do, here's your chance to find out how. How Everybody, please welcome my friend, Nick Dominguez. Hi, Nick. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, Nick, we got to know, first of all, we know you have a real job as well. You are the president and CEO of Vertical One Communications. Is that correct? That is correct. I am. So tell me a little bit about Vertical One, if you will. So Vertical One was started about 18 years ago. And what we work in, in our industry is telecommunications. Mostly we focus a lot on cell phone towers. We deal a lot with cell phone towers with just about every carrier that exists out there. Wow. So what is it that you do with the cell phone towers? Are you putting them up? Are you fixing them? What is it that y'all do? So we put them up, we modify them, we upgrade them, you know, um, we, we convert them from copper lines over to fiber optics. And we just make sure everybody has good signal the best that we can, you know, based off of whatever the customer wants. Um, but we always, you know, do everything with excellence and like I said, we've been in business for 18 years. We have almost 80 employees. And, um, you know, my entire family works in the company. Mm -hmm. I've got three wonderful kids. My wife works there. My brother works there. My brother-in-law works there, um, <laughs> including my grandchildren. When they're off and they have spring break or, you know, during summer, uh, mm -hmm. they're there. And I put them to clean the warehouse and wash trucks, you know. Wow. I bet they just so. can't wait to get over Papa's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, you got to teach them young and I, I'm all a you know, strong believer about strong work ethics and, you know, um, learn, learn the value of a dollar at a young age. And, you know, yeah. it, you, you know, you take care of it. And, and when you get older, it'll it'll take care of you. That is so true. So if I have really bad cell service, I can call you. Is that what you're telling me? You can call me and I could probably try to do whatever I can. Probably call some <laughs> other people down the line. We'll always try to help out and see what we can do, you know, definitely. Okay, so there you go, you guys. If you have problems with your cell phone service, make sure to get in touch with the CEO <laughs> and president of Vertical One. <laughs> Nick, thanks so much for that. But what we really want to talk about today is your nonprofit work. So you mm -hmm. have a nonprofit organization that you are, that really is your pet project. Tell us about that and what's it called? So our nonprofit is actually called Dreamweavers Alliance. Dreamweavers Alliance has been around for a very long time. It's actually been around for about 27 years now. Oh, okay. And, you know, you don't hear a lot about it. We, we like to call ourselves, our family like to call ourselves what we call shadow workers, you know, in the sense that we like to do the work, you know, but we don't really care too much for the recognition. It's mm -hmm. more about filling the need. It's more about giving to people. One of the sayings that we have at Dreamweavers Alliance is we don't give because we have a lot. We give because we know what it is to go without. Oh, wow. That is so and, good and so true. And, you know, like like I said, we like to be shadow workers. In other words, we don't mind standing behind the stage, you know, opening up the curtains, putting the spotlights. Mm -hmm. We don't have to be in the picture to know we are part of the picture. And yeah. so that's that's very important to us here. And. You know, it's been around for many years. We help in different communities. And, you know, over during COVID, we were able to help a lot around the world, even a lot more than what we already were doing. Wow. And, you know, I like to talk about Africa. Africa is very dear to my heart. Right. And I had been going to Africa for quite a few years, but I noticed that during COVID, a lot of things happened. You know, there was a lot of logistics that nobody could see that mm -hmm. really in reality, no matter how much you tried to prepare for it, you never knew how much it was going to impact. That's everybody. And, <laughs> and that went for everybody. You know, I'm talking yeah. like big companies. Everybody was like scratching their head, like, what do we do? How do we deal with it? Because it was And that's where we got that world. new word pivot. 
everybody decided they needed to yeah. pivot and we didn't have any idea what that meant exactly until it all happened. So how did dream weavers step in and bridge that gap in Africa? Well, if you get to know me, I like to be a people person. I love talking to people, you know, whether you're the driver, the waitress, room service, it doesn't matter. I like to connect with people, you know, because I think everybody is very valuable in this world. You know, we're here for a purpose. Well, I had connected with some people, you know, during my trips down there. Mm -hmm. And one of the things was, is that when COVID hit, I started getting calls from different places, especially from Africa, saying wow. that food wasn't making it out to these um, care points, you know, where they have children, where children go and a care point is pretty much a place that's a safe place to go to. They can get a meal, they get wow. education, um, mm -hmm. medicine, and, and above everything, God. You know, we mm -hmm. share the word of God with them, and, and it's wow. a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, during COVID, you know, there was a huge impact. All the organizations that were helping, uh, containers got stuck in ports, and, you know, they couldn't get drivers um, mm -hmm. you know, borders got shut down. Nobody could cross, you know, all these mm -hmm. borders got shut down. That's where the logistics parts comes in. Mm -hmm. Us being people, people, the people, 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 I didn't say people, 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 <laughs> people, people. <laughs> but, um, a people person, you mm -hmm. know, who we are, um, I was able to contact some people in Africa and I asked mm -hmm. them, I said, how are things? They told me how things were, you know, bad and, you know, if, if we were experiencing stuff here, when you go to those countries, it's it's on a whole different level, very yeah. different. Mm -hmm. And so I contacted a driver who used to pick me up in Johannesburg and I told him, mm -hmm. we got to help. We got to do something. Wow. And he says, mm -hmm. I have I have a little truck and me and my wife can go and help. So mm -hmm. at this point, they had been let go of. Now, in these countries, there is not much help from the government, you know, right. great countries, but you don't get that support like we do here. Mm -hmm. And so I immediately thought about it, um, didn't pray about it too much because there's a need, you know, there's not a lot of praying right. but when they're needed. That's right. Sometimes you don't so, need to pray about it. Just get yeah, moving. You know, so, so I called them back and I said, hey, why don't you come and work for me? You and your wife, you know. Um, and he said, great, we don't have a job. We need a job. And I said, good. Mm -hmm. So they started reaching out to all the, you know, several care points and, you know, uh, long story short, everybody needed food. The chain of food coming in, the, uh, everything coming in had stopped 100%. I had calls from wow. pastors over there telling me I have four days of food left. That's it. And they were talking like, I'm not talking like, great food. I'm talking like we we're running out of bread. This is it. I have wow. four days of bread and nothing more. Once the bread runs out, we have nothing left. Mm -hmm. So we got with some supermarkets down there. We contacted them. You could only go buy from the supermarkets if you showed up with cash. That's it. Wow. Yes. Mm. So there was a lot of logistics involved trying to mm -hmm. get monies wired to them because the banks were shutting down banks were open. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just, it was a nightmare. Crazy. Yeah. But, but you know, God was good. He opened up stuff. We picked the right bank. The funds were mm -hmm. able to be sent out. I talked to vertical, you know, vertical communications. Everybody sits on that board. We talked to the board of dream weavers and they mm -hmm. said, we got to do something. We got to step in. We were able to wire funds. And mm -hmm. actually this month, during this time right now, uh, it marks two years that we actually started. And believe it or not, mm -hmm. believe it or not, with one pickup, we were able to move 210 tons of food. Holy cow, what kind with of truck did this guy have? <laughs> no, it was a small pickup. I'm talking it's like a range, Ford Ranger. Wow. He would have to pack it up, run, and then... Mm -hmm. If you go out there, the roads are not like the roads that we're accustomed to. I mean, these yeah. roads are like you're off-roading, like serious mm -hmm. off-roading. Oh, my God. And I don't know how, by the grace of God, the truck never broke down. We never had to mm -hmm. replace tires on it. Um, oh they God. held up. Suspension held up. <laughs> but we were able to deliver, over the last two years, 210 tons of food. Wow. Nick, that is amazing. Now, at these particular um care points that you call them how many people 
will show up at one of these care points at any given time? On average, on average, we'll have up to two to 300 children per care point. Children. So these are not adults. And I'm sorry, you said 200 plus children a day? A day. This is a day. Wow. You know, the thing about dealing with COVID is so, you know, we were told to stay home and we were told to, you know, refrain from going around people. Hunger doesn't stop. Hunger does not know boundaries. That's you know, so and, and these children kept going back to the place where they were accustomed to getting a meal. Sometimes that's the mm-hmm. only meal that they receive all day, literally. Oh, my goodness. And these kids are not coming from like down the street, across the street or two blocks over. How far do some of these kids go to get that meal? Some of these kids were traveling up to in kilometers, seven, eight kilometers, which is mm-hmm. equivalent to close to almost four or five miles at the most. Right. And are they little they kids, would, big kids? How, they're how little kids. They you, you would see eight, nine, ten-year-olds show up with like a mm-hmm. two-year-old or one-year-old strapped to their back, you mm-hmm. know, with just showing up with, you know, can we get a meal, a piece of bread? Can we get something? Right. But, but you oh, know, by goodness. the grace of God, you know, we were mm-hmm. able to step in. We were able to partner up with the right people down there. Now we have a yeah. full-blown certified organization in mm-hmm. South Africa, not to mention, wow. we just came, went into Ken- Kenya. Um, okay. There's a few areas in Kenya that we're in now. Mm-hmm. And, but, but, you know, we were handing out, um, I believe it's close to about a thousand meals a day for the last two years. A, a day. thousand meals a day. A day. Oh my gosh. So Nick, when you guys saw this happening and you found a way to make it work, how did then, did you get started with opening up, if you will, the, the Dreamweaver Alliance here locally? Well, we were already established here prior to that. Okay. And, and so we, we had already put that in place. And like I said, we've been doing a lot of nonprofit work, but we, we never, we never post it out there. We never do it. You know, it's just, we do it because we love to do it, not because we want to be recognized. That's not Mm -hmm. the, that's not the purpose. And, my entire family has the same heart behind it. You know, that's just mm-hmm. who we are. Yeah. Um, but, but you know, it was, it was just a beautiful thing to be able to go to a place and mm-hmm. use the means and the gifts that God gives us and be able to help those people during the worst time that the world, me personally, that I've ever experienced, you know? Sure, exactly. And, so now that you're doing it, you're back. You, I understand that you go back and forth, you know, to Africa to check on these points, to check on these kids. I've seen a lot of the pictures um, that you all take. I mean, and these kids are just precious and they are so grateful for what it is that you're doing for them. So when you go down there to check things out, what is it? What else do you see when you're there? Well, I mean, we see a lot of poverty. You know, we see homes that need to be built. We see education. Um, you know, lack of education, because, you know, even though the government does give them school up to a point, but once they Mm -hmm. reach a certain point, that's it. Like high school, you have to pay for it. You don't get it for free. Mm -hmm. Um, And, and so, you know, one of the things that we're doing now is we're building additional care points. We're putting in Mm -hmm. water wells. We're educating, uh, Mm -hmm. getting a full fledged education for the people who work for us, you know, we're helping sponsor that. Mm -hmm. because we want to make sure that everybody that they work with to let them know that, you know what, this is achievable. It doesn't matter where you live. You know, if if you believe in God and you trust in God, you could achieve these things. That is so true. That is so true. So Nick, let me ask you for the people that are watching who really are touched by this and want to help, what can they do? Well, if, if they want to help and donate, they could always go to our webpage, you know, Dreamweavers Alliance. And there's there's a place there that they could donate. You know, mm-hmm. we are planning a trip to go back with a larger group. Now that the borders are open, we feel that COVID has, you know, kind of like settled down a little bit. Sure. And we are planning a, a larger trip mid, mid-year on June, July, which we're mm-hmm. going to put it on our webpage and they could you know, I, I want people to go over there and experience, you know, and be able to see and just help. And, mm-hmm. and it, it's just a beautiful thing. You know, 
money does a lot of things and it does it really feeds mm -hmm. people and it puts clothes on their back and water mm -hmm. you know in their cup but yeah. money doesn't give a hug you know mm. money That's money so doesn't good. hold the child money doesn't tell that child you know you're gonna be okay you're not forgotten mm. we're here you know somebody uh -huh. out there cares for you and yeah. and that's what I try to show to people is like the beauty of it, you know, to be able yeah. to go out there and just spend time with them. I think that is so marvelous. Look, everybody, if you guys are watching this and you really want to help Dream Revolts Alliance, like you said, go to his website. But don't worry, all of that information will be down in the description. And apparently, if you want to go to Africa, you would be able to find out that information as well. Don't forget, we want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel also and give us a thumbs up. It's important for us to know that you're watching and that you're engaged. Nick, before I let you go, my friend, Okay. <laughs> we got to play a game. <laughs> nice. Great. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> so this game is called This or That. It is so simple. I'm going to give you the choice of two things, and you, off the top of your head, just tell me which one you like the best. Are you ready to okay. play? Ready. All right. Here we go. Flowers or plants? Flowers. Hotel or tent? Hotel. I'm surprised with you going out to Africa and stuff. I'm surprised that you said hotels, but I guess so. <laughs> Water park or amusement park? Amusement park. Okay. Practical joker or I don't play like that? A practical, practical joker, definitely. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah, okay, full disclosure. So I've known Nick for a lot of years and he's telling the truth. He's so funny. All right, <laughs> candlelight or moonlight? Moonlight. Yeah, I can see that. Are you a planner or do you make it up as you go? Planner. Oh, ah, okay. Do you go all day or I need a nap? All day. I can imagine. <laughs> when you're talking, do you say pecan or pecan? Pecan. Okay, interesting. When you meet somebody, what's the first thing you notice? Their eyes or their smile? Smile. Okay. And are you a words of affirmation guy or an acts of service? Um, God, I'm a little of both. You know, that's, I'm like right in the middle, like right down the middle. Okay. So you want somebody to um, hold your hand while they're ironing your shirt. Is that like that? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I, I thought it might, it might like me going to them. Um, no, no would, them for you. <laughs> oh, well, I would say acts of service. Okay. And finally, what would you tell your younger self now? Um, I would probably say, don't be afraid. It's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. uh, trust your heart. Your heart's not going to misguide you and love the people more around you because you never know when their time's up. Oh, that is so good. Oh, my gosh. Nick, thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate the information. And here's hoping that a lot of people go over to the website to donate or at least sign up to go to Africa with you all. Oh, thank you very much, Ricky. Thank you so much for having me on your show. I love it. I love watching your videos. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, everybody. That's it for us for this time. But don't worry. We'll see you next time on Extra.